Hi, in this video I want to talk briefly about how to use some Canvas tools. And one thing that some people have asked about is how to put math symbols in Canvas. And in general, you can always use words instead of symbols um, most of the time if the symbols aren't on your keyboard. You obviously should write numbers as symbols unless you're told otherwise. But when you enter a discussion board post in Canvas, or if you have an essay response in a, an assignment, you should see a screen that looks like this. And sometimes there might be a button or something that puts simple or complex that sometimes appears and sometimes doesn't. But in general, if I want to do math specific things, if I need to put some symbols or something, if I want to make things squared or I want to do fractions, I can do this. On Canvas, there is a square root sign with an X in it. And if you hover your mouse over it, you should see insert math equation. That brings up Canvas's equation editor. And so from this, I can type something to a, a power, so I could put x, and then sup means superscript, and so this would be x to the fifth, plus y to the third, second, minus 4z to the eighth. I can also use this to make a fraction. So if I put this says n over m, so 5 over 7. So when you put a fraction, I'll put that. Um, when I'm done with it, it lets me, you, this would have to be all one thing at once. I'm going to add this to it. There we go. So then it will click insert, and that inserts it into your document. Now the bad thing with Canvas is that once it's there, it's there. You can resize it if you wanted to. You won't have to do that. But, and you can get rid of it by deleting it, but you can't edit it again, which is, I just lied to you, you can't edit it again. I sometimes have trouble editing it again, so maybe you can. Um, so again, this root button right here, square root of x. Um, the other thing you might need is the square root symbol, so that's just there, and then you can put whatever you want underneath it. So you could say that the square root of 25 equals 5 or negative 5. Whoops. Or we could be even more precise. So let's say we wanted to put in the quadratic formula. I can type x equals, and then I'm going to do my fraction sign because I didn't know the quadratic formula is a fraction. So I have x equals negative b, and then I have a plus or minus sign right here. Plus or minus the square root of b superscript squared minus 4 a, C, all over 2A. I insert my equation. My equation is right there. Those would be the main things you have to do, but you can also do other things. So it, often you'll have to designate a natural number. So here's our symbol for natural numbers. So if you wanted to do some set theory, some set builder notation, I can do that. I can say X such that on my keyboard, um, x, and so to get the element symbol, I'm going to go to relationships. This is also where I can get the less than an equal symbol or the greater than or equal symbol. Those are also under the relationships. I can get the approximately equal sign. I can get my, uh, my um, subset and proper subset symbols, as well as other symbols that we don't use in this class. But one of the symbols here is the e element symbol. So x is an element of the natural numbers. And then we can just type in here too. The typing is going to show up as italics because of how this works, and that's okay. And let's say that x was between um, negative, uh, it's, and x, x is bigger than negative 5. And it is less than or equal to 22. So we'll go back to relationships less than or equal to 22. I'm not sure why. Oh. 
And when you do this, because of the way this works, we should actually use the relationship symbol for this. Um, this symbol right here. That, otherwise, I think it's bracket. So there we go. So if you need to, you can play with this um, insert math equation. For a discussion board, if you have discussion boards in your course, I'm making a generic one for all of my courses. Some have discussion boards, some don't. It also works for um, essay questions on quizzes. And unfortunately, it doesn't work for short answer questions on quizzes. Um, but it will for, for other things. So that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. The other thing that it can do, and this is the advanced thing. So if you know the uh, markup language that's called LaTeX or, La, or LaTeX, um, you can also use that. I don't expect people to know that. But if you do, you can use that's in the advanced mo uh, mode. You can also paste from other things in that. Um, there are ways for that to work. So this is actually what the equation editor in Canvas uses. It just this is sort of our front end for it to make it prettier for us as users. So if you know this um, LaTeX, LaTeX, you can also use that. You don't obviously have to. The basic view will work if you need to use it. Um, this is really helpful when we have to do things like write something in expanded form. So I could write that 905 equals 9 times... 10 squared plus 0 times 10 to the first plus 5 times 10 to the 0. There are also other symbols you can get to under these menus to put in. If you need Greek letters for something, you might need delta if you're doing slope, for example, for change in. Um, probably won't need, or if for set theory, the union sign and the intersection sign are here under operators. Um, there's various arrows that we sometimes use in math. There's braces we use in set theory, and there's some miscellaneous symbols as well that we might, that you might, that you probably won't need for anything. But that's all there. Um, for what it does, it works pretty well. For simple things, it's, it's even quicker than doing it in Word. Um, Another possibility, if you need a symbol, is to find your symbol somewhere else. Someone posted this on a discussion board this semester. It's a great idea. I've done this. Find the symbol that you need on uh, doing a, a web search and just copy and paste the symbol in. That's another way you could get one of these relationship symbols in. The other thing you can also do, um, if you're just typing it and you need to do less than or equal to, is that you could also type that like this. And that's not technically correct, but it's what's used in a lot of programming languages. So this would be less than or equal to, and this is greater than or equal to. And as long as you do it in that particular order, I would give you credit for that. Um, I try to make it so that you don't have to do that in any of the short answer problems, but you might occasionally, if you're doing discussion boards, I, that could certainly be something that shows up. Um, so this means less than or equal to, and this means greater than or equal to. Those are um, conventions that are used by lots of programming languages and other things because there aren't those keys on the computer keyboard, but programmers still need to figure that out. So that's also used. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.